For professional web work, at this point in time using JS and TypeScript is inevitable, but we sure as hell don't want to use those languages in our personal projects unless we have to. It isn't a big loss for us to switch platforms at this stage as we barely even started the VN compiler project, so far we only really learned a bit of styling and a bit of typing in TypeScript. The TS knowledge might be useful for us at work, but the styling knowledge will be useful regardless of what we use. Even if JS gets superseded, HTML and CSS will be here to stay. We'll be able to use Tailwind and Daisy UI to style our stuff. At least, that is what we expect. Anyway, for those out of the loop like ourselves, Bolero is a set of libraries to compile f -sharp code to WebAssembly. WebAssembly itself is a portable low-level VM that runs on the browser that supports numerous languages like Rust or C, and amongst them is f -sharp. The promise of WebAssembly is to be able to do full-stack web development in a single language. Saying it like that really makes it feel like we made a mistake not starting the web dev in f -sharp series with Bolero. Anyway, it also gives us the ability to use Blazor components, which is something that we want. While the Blazor ecosystem is nowhere as big as the JS one, there is only so much that we need in terms of UI libraries. We aren't hardcore front-end devs here, and we'd much rather be programming everything in f -sharp to begin with. As long as it looks good and runs well, the customers won't care what lies underneath. Anyway, for some reason the project isn't running no matter how much we wait. Let's try it again from inside Rider. By the way, if you want to get this IDE for free, the beta version doesn't seem to require a license. Rider is better for f -sharp, much like VS Code seems to be for TypeScript, and we are recommending it not because we are sponsored, but because we'd hate for you to drop f -sharp due to tool difficulties in VS Code. Anyway, we ran it and it started right away, and we are just playing around with the Hello World template. It is similar to the Blazor template, but keeps the model state around between the pages, and even has an authentication example on the books page. Everything we've done in the past authentication videos, we should be able to easily reuse for this. It has its own dev server, so we won't need to worry about proxying requests from Veet. We know that Blazor serves static content from the root one. We really like that about Blazor, as it will make authentication a lot smoother. When we tried Azure AD authentication, we ran into a lot of issues with the safe stack due to the client and server being on different ports during dev time. Also compared to the safe stack template, the compilation for Bolero is 10 times faster. Native f -sharp is slower to compile than c -sharp, but it is still a lot faster than Fable. We've already gone through the source code for the library once, and we'll be doing it again now. The setup is typical ASP.NET Core obtuseness, where it adds services and middleware that you have no idea what they could possibly be doing. That is how it was at first for us, but we kind of got used to it by now. If you've gone through the series, half of this should be familiar to you by now. The impression we get from running the example and now studying the source code for it is very positive. We are surprised that it uses the MVC model, but it seems the Bolero guys did what we thought would be impossible and actually made it good. The way it works is that they use a type provider to go over the main HTML file to derive the classes. That gives you a list of all the handlers that need to be plugged in, and this is what is being done in the f -sharp code. Inside of the handlers, a dispatch function is used to send messages to the Elmish style update loop. We like this style of programming, we like the Elmish loop and think it is great. We could implement it using reducers in React, but it is not as great there, and JS makes using union types very onerous, so we are happy to get those back by moving to this. As MVC is not as flexible compared to returning React elements as views, we'll have to look into Blazor components and how to make use of them later, and the same goes for those HTML templates. Also, CSS libraries. We'll get to those in due time. Much like with Fable Remoting, it has remoting functionality built in that allows the client to call out to the server in a well-typed manner. In terms of design, it is more object-oriented than Fable and the safe stack examples are, but we don't really mind that at this point. 
Even on the client, it follows the ASP.NET Core line of using runtime types to do initialization and inject dependencies, and it uses that when it makes sense, but doesn't go overboard with metaprogramming and annotations like Razor Pages and regular c -sharp MVC do. What we dislike the most about c -sharp MVC is that the page classes have handlers returning essentially untyped data from the request. Dispatching messages to the update loop gets around all that type insecurity, leading to a solid architecture. You can look at the source for a library and get a sense in a minute of whether the authors know how to program properly or whether they are just slapping things together in a spaghetti manner, and this one is the former, we can be sure simply based on this project template example. Unlike say the library we used in the previous video, the example we are looking at here exudes the elegance of functional programming with simple types and first-order logic rather than giving us the strangulating feeling and stress-inducing type usage complexity of the TypeScript projects that we've looked at. Bolero gets our seal of approval. We'll give it a serious try and try doing the VN compiler project in it. We are interested in knowing how programming in it would feel. We'll take some time to study it off screen and try out the diagramming library and then we'll resume the screencasts. While we study, you like and subscribe. We'll be right back.